Farmers, South Cornwall. And specifically, the National Maritime Museum. With a rather interesting exhibition. Never been here before, it's not that large. There's a main hall where they concentrate on these ships, boats. It's all very well laid out. Oh, lots suspended from the ceiling and there's all sorts here from power, sail to rowing. That's power, kind of. A bit crude. They hang quite a few from the ceiling. And that's an old plank boat. Amazing. The flat bottom craft. Another view of the main hall. Olympic sailing boats. 1968. It looks slightly complicated, doesn't it? Somewhat complex. I thought simplicity was supposed to be the answer. Look at that lot. And I trust that that thing had a stronger bulb in it when it was at sea. I guess it probably did. There's an exhibition uh, here on uh, Tony Bullimore, who, as you might know, got trapped in his up upturned boat. The South Atlantic. Boy, when I saw this ship, uh, it was heaven, absolute heaven. A lucky man. They uh, have a workshop where they renovate boats and reconstruct boats. And in the uh, side galleries, all things Cornish, as you would expect. Probably need those in a rough passage. You can always pause the video if you want to read more. Old seagull outboard motor there, look. Wow. Powerful man in his day, no doubt. Right, cafe. Have a cup of coffee at this stage. And what you find here is you go have a cafe with the most magnificent views. spot to while away a few minutes, see what's going on. And if that whets your appetite, then you can always go up into the crow's nest. A high vantage point where the views just get uh, better. Lovely 
the old vessel. Lovely dock there. And you've got the old. Old fortress. And the new. I think someone said that's a swimming pool. Hmm. Meanwhile, back at work. Lovely old working boat. And if height isn't your thing, we can cope with that as well, because you can go below water. Just follow me. Magnificent view of the old Coke can. And a local. And thinking of things underwater and boats and things, the main point of the visit is none other than the Titanic. Well, not actually the Titanic, but some uh, bits and pieces connected with it, such as bits from survivors and also from people that didn't survive. timetable for the Titanic which of course it didn't keep to because it sank but the main exhibit is undoubtedly this a full-size replica of a Titanic lifeboat and it is enormous until you've actually stood and looked at it up close you don't realize just how big it is but I guess to hold 60 70 people A genuine Titanic life belt. And there's tons of stuff. Models. Posters. Links to films. I hadn't realised there were that many to be honest. Clive Kessler. Hmm. And the only bit that's actually come from the wreck itself is that. But you can't have everything. Wouldn't be complete, would it, without uh, showing some of Cameron's Titanic. Including, of course, the heart of the ocean diamond. Funny, I thought that got thrown away. Good taste, bad taste, well, you judge. But one thing's for sure, the Titanic will never be forgotten. <laughs>